This weekend, Earth and Mars will be as close as they ever get to one another. Alex Demichik reports you won't need a telescope to see it. The Hubble Space Telescope has the best view of Mars, and NASA released the newest image to coincide with something that hasn't happened in 11 years. There's actually something wonderful going on this weekend, and that's the opposition of Mars. And uh, that's an ancient term in astronomy, and it just means that Mars is on the opposite side of the sky from the sun. So as the sun is setting, Mars is rising. But in astronomy terms, that means we're actually closer to Mars in our orbit around the sun. Only about. 47 million miles, meaning Mars will be growing larger in the night sky before shrinking back. Hubble's link to Earth is the Goddard Space Flight Center. Here, people get a first look at what Hubble sees. It is very cool, absolutely. Um, Hubble is astounding. From the drawing board to orbit, Hubble's main mission is to seek out some of the universe's most distant objects. But over the years, it has provided stunning close-ups of worlds in our own neighborhood. Images that led to discoveries like the one found on the largest moon in the solar system, Ganymede, in orbit around Jupiter. And uh, the Hubble Space Telescope helped us find a, a huge liquid water ocean under an icy crust on Ganymede. Hubble is now in its 26th year of operation, and it's not about to stop anytime soon. Everything looks good, everything's in great shape, and it could well go into the 2030s. And while we won't see Mars like Hubble, our eyes should have no trouble seeing it in the nights ahead. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. The full moon may steal some of Mars' brightness, but that will change in a few days as the moon begins to wane.